Hi everyone, this is John with Music Greatness. Today we're looking at Rain by SWV. We'll start by breaking down the intro, which sounds like this. Okay, so what you just heard there was the intro to Rain before they start singing. This song's in the key of G major. This key signature has all the white notes except for F, which is an F sharp. However, as you've just seen, this song includes quite a few other notes that are outside of the key of G major. So first things first, let's take a look at the chords you're going to see in this intro section. First of all, we've got a C major 9. C major 9. That's C, E and B for the left hand, and then D, E and B for the right. C major 9. Then we've got a G major 7. That's G, D and F sharp for the left hand, and then B and F sharp for the right. After that, we have a slash chord. This is B over E. So E and B for the left hand. And then the right hand here has a B major triad in second inversion. So that's why this is called B over E. Next, F sharp minor 11. That's F sharp and C sharp in the left, and then A, B and E for the right hand. So that's all for the chords. Let's now break down this intro by first looking at the left hand. The bass line starts on beat four of the pickup bar. So on beat four we have an A, and then on the end of beat four we move up to a B, and then at the official downbeat of the song we have this C. So the timing there is four and one. Then continuing with eighth notes, one and two. What we do here is instead of playing them as separate notes as we did before, we hold them all to make the bottom half of that C major nine chord. And the timing there is one and two. So all together that first phrase in the left hand is four and one and two. And then moving on, just like in that first bar we used the C major nine, in the next bar we play the bottom half of this G major seven chord. So that's G, D and F sharp. And again, the timing there is one and two. And then on beat four of this second bar, we have the bottom part of that B over E chord. So that bar there is one and two, three, four. So starting from the beginning, four and one and two, three, four, one and two, three, four. Then we hold this E and B together all the way to beat three at the next bar. So that ties over four, one, two, three, four. So here we're going back to a C major nine chord, but this time there's no E in there. So now to recap from beat four of the previous bar, four, one, two, three, four. So the first four bars just in the left hand look like this. Four and one and two, three, four, one and two, three, four, one, two, three, 
three, four, and one. So as you see there, we finished this phrase just as we started with that pickup phrase, an A on beat four and a B on the and of beat four. Landing at the beginning of the next phrase with this C just as in the beginning. Now let's take a look at the right hand for these first four bars, which to begin with only uses quarter note rhythms. So first of all, it'll come in on beat two when your left hand is playing this B. So that's one and two to make that full C major nine chord. And then after that, your right hand plays an A on beat three and a G on beat four. So that's one, two, three, four. And with the left hand from the beginning of that bar, one and two, three, four. And then if we include the two notes from the pickup bar, four and one and two, three, four. Then in the next bar, your right hand does four more quarter notes. So we're gonna play the upper part of that G major seven chord first of all, so the B and the F sharp. And then on beat two, we play an E. One and two, three. That's a D there on beat three. One and two, three. And then the B over E on beat four. So that's one and two, three, four. So let's recap those first two bars with both hands. Starting with the left hand pickup phrase. Four and one and two, three, four, one and two, three, four. As I say, this B of the E is held on beat four up until beat one of the next bar. And then on beat two of the next bar, your right hand hits a B. Then on beat three, we play this C major nine again, but this time the C major nine does not include the E down below. So it's just C and B for the left hand. Then the right hand is the same as before. So now let's go right back to the beginning and play the first four bars of this song with both hands together and starting from that left hand pickup. Great, so as I say, that fourth bar finishes in exactly the same way as we started, with that left hand pick up bass line. And then the next bar, this is the fifth bar now, is exactly the same as the first bar. Then the following bar starts exactly the same as the second bar, except for the final chord on beat four of this bar now is an F sharp minor 11. So let's recap those two bars there. Four and one and two, three, four, one and two, three, F sharp minor 11. We'll hold this all the way through the next bar and halfway through the following bar. So four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one. So we held that F sharp minor 11 all the way through the next bar, and halfway through the following bar, then on beat three of that following bar, we did a new pickup bass line. Instead of just A and B, we have A, E, A, B, and then C again. Starting on beat three, that pickup bass line is four eighth notes in total this time. So let's recap the last four bars. One and two, three, four, one and two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, 
three and four and one. Notice that I'm putting my third finger over on this C because in the next bar we're going to start off exactly the same as we did in the beginning. The next four bars are in fact exactly the same as the first four bars of this intro except for one tiny difference at the very end. So let's go straight through it. The only difference this time is that we don't have a pickup here in the fourth bar of this phrase. We just go directly into the final four bar phrase on the following downbeat. And now for the final four bars we've got something different. First of all to break down the left hand we have the lower part of a C major 7, so that's C and B, and then on beat 4 of that bar we've got the bottom part of a G major 7, same voicing but just starting on a G. G and then F sharp which is the major 7 and then we just hold that through beats 1, 2 and 3 of the next bar and then on the fourth beat of that next bar we have the bottom part of the F sharp minor 11 that you've already played. So timing there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 and we'll hold this all the way through the next bar and throughout the following bar up until the very end of that following bar where we have the pickup bass line. Now let's take a look at the right hand in these final four bars. We have a new melody here which goes E, F sharp, G and then B and F sharp on beat four which is the upper part of that G major seven chord that you played in the left hand. So with the left hand that's one, two, three, four. Then we hold this into the next bar where on beat three your right hand plays a D and then on beat four we've got the F sharp minor 11. So that's A, B and E in the right hand just as before. So those two bars there are one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And now we hold this F sharp minor all the way through the next bar and then all the way through the following bar until beat four of that final bar where your left hand plays the pickup exactly as you played in the beginning. And then we finally arrive at the verse with this C major seven. Learning the verse is actually quite easy after this because it mostly uses elements that you've just learnt in this tutorial. We'll break down the verse in part two of this video series, but let's finish off this intro tutorial by recapping the final four bars. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four and one. And now we're on to the verse. But before moving on, let's go back again and this time recap the final eight bars of this intro section. So from the four note bass line pickup starting on beat three of the previous bar, three and four and one. So that's the whole intro learned guys which takes us up to the verse where they start singing. Let's now recap this whole thing at a reduced tempo.
And now let's recap the whole thing one more time at full speed. So that's it for the first part of this tutorial guys. If you'd like to learn the verse and the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.